Hi there, I'm Terry Hawkness from HawknessComics.com. Today we're talking about Nowhere Men, which uh, for the first quarter of 2013 was basically the hottest comic there was for current uh, hot back issues. And it comes from Image Comics, and number one came out just in, in December 2012 from Eric Stevenson and Nate Bellegarde. And the comic has uh, just been constantly selling reprints after reprints. Give you an idea here is the original printings we've got number ones and twos these are first printings and uh, number one reached a peak of fifty dollars and it seems to have settled down a bit currently they seem to be selling mostly around the thirty dollar range number two also hit, hit a peak of twenty five dollars and now it's come down a bit and number three i actually sold some as high as twenty dollars each but i would say thirteen was the average going rate for a couple months until number four came out. So let's talk about the sales from orders from Diamond and what's happened with this title. Um, so the book came out actually November uh, of 2012 and uh, $2.99 cover price from Image. And Image was having a great 20th anniversary run. A lot of their new comics were becoming hot and Nowhere Man was no exception. He became basically the first true hot book of 2013. Number one had a print run of less than 12,000 copies. That's decent for an Image title, but of course, generally not a, not a huge number. But it was enough to rank it as the 172nd best-selling comic of that month for North America. And then number two came out the next month. Typically, the print run was lower because everybody doesn't like to order as many number twos as number ones. So sales were down, not quite half, but down about 4,000 copies. So uh, number two had a print run of just over 7,000. And then number three came out, and because number one and number two had sold out so quickly, number three did the exact same thing. Now what happened was number four finally came out, and because finally all the local comic shops had realized that oh this book sells out constantly we need to up our orders and unfortunately they upped their orders too much because number four had a print run of over 13,000 copies which means that number four is the most common issue of the run now that's pretty rare to happen that number four is more common than number one but that is what happened in this case everybody got a little uh, too greedy in uh, the speculating market thinking oh they'll all make money in number four and I did the same thing figuring well number one and two and three all sold out surely four will do the same thing now the funny thing is number four actually did sell out but that's because so many speculators bought so many copies that they actually still have gone to a second printing however there's so many copies of number four in the market that I'd almost say at this moment number four is worthless is that going to change in the future? Well, if the series stays popular, brings in new readers, sure, people are going to want it. They're going to want sets. And the number fours could disappear. It could be a valuable book in the future. Very valuable? No. It's not going to happen. There's just simply too many copies. Now, what's interesting, though, uh, I'm not the only one. Many people love these co covers. Very interesting. They're all pure white, and they've kept that going with every issue and every reprint. And the other thing I like about this series is that they've reprinted all the issues with completely new cover art, which makes it fun to actually collect the reprints. So that's helped keep the sales up for a lot of issues as well. So actually you can collect five printings of number one. And already I think there's four printings of number two. So you can actually collect quite a series here. Now, finally a graphic novel will probably be coming out number next month to reprint the first five issues so we'll see how that also affects prices now i mentioned prices have peaked and yes they did you know february and march this was honestly the hottest comic there was i would have been happy to f fill a, a farm or field full of these books and just stockpile them um, but prices have finally come down a little bit now that might not be necessarily due to uh, lack of interest. It could just be that I do believe that once April hits, weather improves and uh, less people shop for back issues online. It could be as simple as that. Um, time will tell. We'll see what happens with number five. It comes out in one week. And do I have copies for sale? Yes, I do. Uh, I love keeping them in stock. I personally love reading this title, so I do recommend it for everyone who wants to try something. It's an interesting mix of sci-fi there's a little bit of humor some superhero reminds me of the fantastic four a little bit at times um and you read the book you'll you'll find out why 
Um, so I do recommend you checking this out. If you want the back issues for investment, do I think it's going to go up in value in the future again? It's possible. It's likely it's probably pretty well peaked. But as I say, it just depends if new readers come in. Um, as I say, stories have upped their orders definitely for number four and most likely for number five. If that brings in new readers, that could again help drive up the prices of the first prints. And even a lot of second prints have sold for way above cover price. Again, that's cooled off at the moment, but it ha definitely has happened in the past. So check that out if you want a cool story and you want to check out uh, the cool cover art of the reprints, you know, then you can have fun collecting a set of all of them. And of course, the series is ongoing and uh, one of Image's most popular titles. So there you go. If you'd like to order any titles of any of the printings, contact me at hawkness at hotmail.com or our website at hawknesscomics.com. Thanks.